the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Always like to talk about the Internet and how good it can be. Of course, there's dangers with it, but there's so many wonderful, powerful elements there. There's one site we're going to tell you about if you're a woman that is a great asset. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Joe Basicchia, and this is Comcast Newsmakers. She is Janice Kovach, the director of the Department of Community Affairs for the New Jersey Division on Women. We're going to talk about the online resource guide for gals. I like to say it that way, but it's the truth is that they're wonderful leaders in our society. Uh, we men realize that we're nothing without women. Uh, the reality is, though, there's a lot of challenges out there that yes. they need special help with. Is that so true to this day even? It is. Um, unfortunately, there's still, um, there's still a need for a division on women because the services that we provide are unique to the women that we serve. What type of issues are they facing that you will help them through the site? Oh, uh, our resource guide, if they have in questions on housing, if they want to get a mortgage for their, on their own, if they're looking for affordable housing, um, anything, anything along those lines, you can get that information. We have information on the specific programs. We have phone numbers, websites that they can go to. And we've broken it down so that they're easy topics to look up. So if you want to look up housing, you don't have to go through 300 pages. You can go to just on housing, and it'll give all the information. It is actually very thick, all the elements that are there. It could be ranging from serious, dangerous things like stalkers, mm -hmm. how to handle a stalker, where to go to for help in that regard. Yes. Pregnancy jobs, uh, even issues of addiction. Yes. Now, when the folks go to this website, it is confidential, isn't it? It is. And, you know, we don't ask for any information. It just allows them to click on whatever topic interests them, if it's addiction services, if it's counseling, if it is dealing with child care. There's resources that are under each of those chapters that they can get information. So it does cascade, though, that if they're in that one division on addiction, mm -hmm. and, of course, they see things there, but... They want help. Mm -hmm. There's places they can even go to furthermore. Yes. They'll act, we have actual programs listed. So, you know, they can search based on where they live or where they're currently at. How did you compile all of this? Through a lot of research. Um, the staff spent an enormous amount of time looking at what questions we get from women, you know, those who email us with issues that they're facing. And we started the research that way, started compiling the information, thought it was a great idea to just put it in one place so that they didn't have to email us, that they could search on their own. And we keep it updated because we constantly check in with the organizations. And I guess one of the best things we could do now as a service to the viewer and is what we always try to do. That's why we're here. We're going to have that website up there for a good bit. Make sure you can get a good look at it. It's nj.gov forward slash DCA forward slash D-O-W. Uh, the reason for the forward slashes is, is is you're part of a bigger department. Yes. So what is your mission within that department? Our mission is to empower and serve the women of New Jersey, help them get whatever services that they need to improve the lo their lives as well as the lives of their families. Many ways, some people may look at this as a battleground between male and female. We've come a long way since the, uh, uh, you know, the Bobby Riggs era, haven't we? <laughs> yes. Uh, Billie Jean King era. This is not about that. This is about empowerment really of families in yes, many ways, isn't it? It is. You know, women are responsible. A lot of times we will be the best spokespeople for our children, for our schools, and for causes that we believe in, but we're not necessarily the best for ourselves. So this is a resource that they can go to and get information, you know, on something that they need to, to meet their needs as this, well as their families. This does fall under the reins of New Jersey and New Jersey government in many ways, but this is, you're on the World Wide Web now. Yes. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if you're getting, uh, you're getting approached from all over the world now with questions, aren't you? We actually did get an email from a, um, a woman who was in Peru <laughs> and was looking to get some information from us. And that's great to know that you're there, but the, what's even more special is to know that here in our Garden State, you're there just a click away yes. and, and we'll finish up with make sure we make sure folks can remember it. It's easy to remember. Yes, that it is. That nj.gov website is something we should all know because all the resources for our great state, we don't realize it, that they're all there. But forward slash DCA, forward slash DOW. Yes. And of course, you can go anytime. Absolutely. Great to have you with us. Thank you. This hour's newsmaker has been Janice Kovach. She's the director of the Department of Community Affairs for the New Jersey Division on Women. I'm Joe Basicchia, and this is Comcast Newsmakers, seen exclusively here on Comcast Cable. If you missed that website, guess what? We're on the web as well. You can just reach out to us, and we'll send you there. CN8.tv.